If I go to the same section in Gemma and export to Excel, you'll see that I have a spreadsheet with the item type, whether or not the item is locked, the name, and the modified date. Now this isn't really quite as much information as I would like to have, and that's because I've exported from the reading view. And in the, when I export from the reading view, I don't have much control over what goes into the spreadsheet. Whereas exporting to a Word document, the template defines the information that goes into the document. Exporting to Excel, the view in Gemma determines the export. So let's switch to a list view instead. So now that I'm in the list view, you can see I'm showing the name, the modify, and the data sheet columns. And I'm not showing the description. So let me add that in because I want to see that in my export. So I'm going to add in the description field. And I'm going to, let's say I don't want to see the lock field. So I'm going to remove the lock field. Now I have some information that is more appropriate for my export. So I'm going to click on the export to Excel and try this again. And now you can see that I have the name and the description in my export. And I can adjust what goes into the export by adjusting the fields that show up in Gemma. Let's look at what the options are for ex configuring the export to Excel template. So to start, I would go to click on export. I would select office templates. And then I would look for the export to Excel default. I'll click on that. It'll allow me to either run that or download the template. And I'm going to download the template so I can see what my options are. Open this up and you'll see here that I have some fields defined at the top and in indicating the type of information. And then I have a field showing me where the start of the data will go. And there's not much I can do to configure that. So as you can see, all the configuration about what information is going to go into the spreadsheet is done by configuring the list view in Gemma. Now one thing I can do is I could swap out the logo for my company logo. So let's say I want to replace that image with my company image. I already have a spreadsheet where I've done that, so let me open that one up. So in this spreadsheet you can see that I've replaced the Gemma logo with another company logo, and otherwise I've left the rest of this the same. Let's take a look at how we would upload this change to Gemma. So back in Gemma, if I go back to the export office template section, there's an upload a template button. I could change the default, so I could select export Excel default and then edit the default one. But instead, since I wanna leave the default alone, I'm gonna create a new one. So I would click upload a template. I would choose my file and then we'll click save the report. And once you do that, you'll have something that looks like this, which is my customized Excel template. So let me run this report and see what the change is. So now you can see I have exactly the same export, the same formatting. The only difference is I have my new company logo instead of the Gemma logo.